Hello, my name is Sonny Rowland. This is for ECE 535. Um, I'm going to demonstrate the piezoelectric device or effect, excuse me. Uh, basically, it's when you deform a piezoelectric material like this, you'll create, when you put force or basically strain or stress on it, it will cause a voltage to happen over the surface. So I got a simple device set up here. Basically, it's a pair of vice grips and I have paper towels in between and then I also have aluminum foil acting as conductors right against the piezoelectric material itself. Um, also I have two probes put in here to measure the voltage as you can see it's a simple voltmeter. Um, piezoelectric devices a lot of people associate them with sonar basically anytime a signal comes back when you send off a sonar, it'll deform the crystal, which will create a voltage, which is transformed into like an audio signal, and therefore you can hear that ping that you always hear in the movies. And basically from the time when you send out the signal, the time you hear the ping back, you can calculate the distance through propagation through water. Um, I'm just going to really simply take the piezoelectric material which is in there and I'm going to apply some pressure and we should see some change in the voltage. So I'm going to zoom in real quick. So I'm going to take a pair of needle nose pliers, real simple and we should see a fluctuation in the voltage. So you can see it starts to go to 5, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. Let me just adjust this here for a second. So 2. So right now I'm actually tightening the vice grips. And I got a 2.3, 2, 2.4, so as I apply more, more and more pressure, excuse me, more and more stress, voltage keeps increasing. So it's kind of showing a linear relationship between stress and voltage. Now my piezoelectric material is at the finest quality, so you gotta forgive me. So I'm loosening it right now, tightening it. See, it keeps climbing. I'm going to go ahead and leave that be. So I'm going to back out with the camera real quick. Excuse me. So basically, I stress applied once again to my material. A voltage is created, which we can measure. Now, the material itself is called um, Rochelle salt, if I pronounce that right. Basically, it's potassium sodium tartrate. Um, it's one of the earliest and easiest to make uh, materials for piezoelectric material. Um, basically, you can make it out of household goods, uh, baking soda with the right mixture of cream de tar. Um, pretty easy. Um, to form a true crystal, now this isn't a true crystal, these are little tiny crystals basically cooked down and I basically I basically burned off the excess water to create kind of a real thick and slurry, let it re-solidify re and to form a more practical material that I can actually apply pressure without it crumbling and breaking. It's almost like the consistency of salt. I guess that's where it gets its name. That is pretty much the demonstration. Um, as far as practical uses, I mentioned before sonar. Another one I've read is electrical lighters, like on your barbecue. A lot of, some barbecues use when you depress.